I do sometimes at the stage now, I actually, I'll sometimes use two compressors and the reason for that is attack and release. I, I might put like, if I do have that kind of strong, uh, like a, aggressive vocal with quite a sharp attack on it, I might put a, another compressor on that has quicker attack and release settings with a lower ratio. So it's doing less compression, but it's just grabbing those transients that pop through the first compressor and I'm not pushing the first compressor too hard. I don't feel at this point that I'm gonna need it for this vocal, so I'm not gonna do it yet. It's something I would decide later if, if I'm finding that those transients are just popping through uh, too aggressively. So yeah, using two compressors next to each other, if you know why you're doing it, it's usually for different attack and release settings and different settings, catching different parts of the signal rather than just trying to get the whole thing with one compressor. That is an option as well.